Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is percentages. Before start solving a lot of the problems in percentages, let's understand the basic and basic concepts that's falling in percentages. So first, the name suggests percentages, which is nothing but percent, which is nothing but per hundred. So your denominator will always be hundred in a percentages. That's what is the main meaning of percentages. So what do you call the numerator here? Numerator we call it as rate percent. So that's why if you get something like ten percent or something, this always calls your numerator. We tell it as ten percent, twenty percent. Let's solve a couple of small problems. What is twenty percent? Just now we discussed twenty percent is nothing but twenty by hundred. Three is what percent of sixty? They are asking three is what percent of sixty? So three by sixty into hundred, which is nothing but twenty five. So five percent. Three is nothing but five percent of sixty. This is the basic concept in percentage. You should understand why are we dividing it by hundred. Let's understand the another concept of fraction into percentages and percentage into fraction. So the next concept is convert percentages into fraction and fraction into percentage. It's a very simple concept. So in percentages to fraction, what do we do? We divide it by hundred. In case of fraction into percentages, we multiply it by hundred. To understand this concept better, let's solve a simple problem. What is the fraction of twenty percent? So they are asking you to convert the twenty percent into fraction. What do we do? It twenty percent is nothing but twenty divided by hundred, so which is nothing but one by five. So twenty percent we have converted into one by five. Here fraction into percentage is where we multiply into hundred. So they are asking us to convert one by five into a percentage. So what do we do? Into hundred. Which is nothing but twenty percent. So in this case, we take one by five is converted into twenty percent. So if you see, we have taken the same question in both the cases. This is nothing but the vice versa of that. So percentage into fraction, we are con converting twenty percent into fraction, which is nothing but one by five. Here we are converting fraction into percentages, which is nothing but one by five into twenty. So these are the basic concepts you should know before solving the sums in percentages. So the second part is that. You should first memorize it from one by one to one by ten. So one by one is nothing but hundred. One by two is fifty percent. One by three is thirty three point three three percent. One by four is twenty five. One by five is twenty percent. One by six is six sixteen point six six. One by seven is fourteen point two eight, and so on till one by ten. Where this is useful? Let's take a question. You could have find these questions a lot in lot of aptitude examination. They will ask what is thirty three point three three percent of one eighty. So, if you're a person who didn't know any of this, what you have to do? You have to just find the elaborate method like 33.33 divided by 100 into 180. That's just very elaborate method, and it's very time-consuming in case of an aptitude exam. So, if you're a person who knows uh, all these tables by by heart, you will know directly 33.33 is nothing but 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 into 180, which is nothing but 60. So, directly you know. It is sixty. Let's solve another problem. So they have asked us what is fourteen point two eight of three fifty. So instead of taking the elaborate method of fourteen point two eight divided by hundred into three fifty, you know fourteen point two eight is nothing but one by seven. So directly you will take one by seven into three fifty, and it's nothing but fifty here. So this is the main reason of knowing these things. It's very simple to remember. So if you remember this, most of the percentage problems can be solved within five six seconds. So let's understand the other three basic problems that you might face in a percentages problem. So the first concept is x is what percent of y. This is a very basic problem you will see in any aptitude exam. This means it's nothing but x by y of hundred. Let's take a simple example. Fifty is what percentage of hundred. So it's nothing but fifty by hundred into hundred. Nothing but fifty percent. So let's go to the next concept. So the second type is nothing but x is increased by certain percentage. So find the new value of x. This is another common simple problem that we face in percentage. How to do that? Let's take for example, x is increased by fifty percent. We know fifty percent is nothing but one by two. So 
it is increased by 1 by 2 which is nothing but 3 by 2 of the x value. Let's understand this concept with a simple example. So x value they have given it as 200, it is increased by 20%. What is the new value of x? 20% is nothing but 1 by 5. So it's increased by 1 by 5 which is nothing but 6 by 5 of x. We know the value of x is 200, so 6 by 5 into 200 equal 40, just 240. So the new value of x is nothing but 240. Let's go to the next type. Third type is nothing but x is decreased by certain percent. Let's take the same example. Let's take the x is decreased by 50 percent. We know that 50 percent is nothing but 1 by 2. What do we do here? In increased, we add it. Here, we have to subtract it. So 1 minus 1 by 2 is nothing but the same 1 by 2 of x. So let's understand this with an example. Same example we are taking but here the only change is x value is decreased by 20 percent. So 20 percent is nothing but 1 by 5. So what do we do? 1 minus 1 by 5 which is nothing but 5 minus 1 4, 4 by 5 of x. So 4 by 5 of 200 which is nothing but 40 here and 160. So if the x is decreased by 20%, the new value of x is nothing but 160. In today's video, we discussed about the basic concepts of percentages and the three types of basic sum that falls under percentages. In the upcoming videos, we'll be discussing about the lot tougher problems that falling under the topic percentages. If you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. <laughs>